All right, I'm coming to you today. My heart's a little heavy, but I really want to have this conversation. We found out last night somebody we know, same age as us, lives in the same city as us, has kids the same age as ours, died from complications due to COVID-19 within two weeks of having uh, some surgery. And there is so much that a premature death teaches us, right? There's no guarantee of tomorrow. For years, pretty much my entire 20s, I kept saying, I'll work on getting healthy tomorrow. I had an off day today, I'll get to this tomorrow. How do we know we get tomorrow? In all fairness, like, especially in the current climate that we live in with what's going on with COVID, how can we be guaranteed we have tomorrow? All we have is today, period, end of story. That's all we have. And I see so many people putting off their health, putting off improving career, putting off having fun and enjoyment until they get all the work done, until they get to this new level that they believe when they achieve it, they will finally be at peace and be able to have fun. When I get this big project done for work, then we'll have a good time. Then we'll do these things. And then that comes and goes. And then there's always another project. There's always another email. There's always another reason that you can't take action on your health goals. And so we say this one cliche phrase, which I am so guilty of saying so many times, which is, I'll start tomorrow. (laughs) We'll do that later. You know, it's always kicking the can down the road. But what if there's no road to kick a can on? What if you can't see that the the road ends for you at some point here and you have today and that's all you got and there's no guarantee of tomorrow? Because please hear me on this. What we know is that if you're of good health, you're in a decent weight range, not meaning you gotta be swizzle stick thin, but you're not obese. You're not carrying around a lot of extra weight. You don't have all these underlying health conditions. You have a fighting chance with this COVID thing, right? Why aren't we all working on that? <laughs> like, like the thing that we know could actually help us getting to a healthier weight, working on eating well, getting good rest, doing these things. Why is it we are not tackling this like crazy because this is something you have control over. You can't control whether or not you get it. You can't control what happens. You can't control if you're alive tomorrow. But what you can control today is throw out the food that doesn't support you getting to a healthy weight. Make sure you are actually eating fruits and vegetables. Get in some lean proteins, go for a walk, do the things. Don't say tomorrow, can I do five minutes of a walk today? Can I drink some water today? Can I cut back on my portions today? Can I do these things right now? Go hug someone you care about today. Call somebody you haven't heard from in a while today. Cut your work off early. The world won't end. It really won't. Like, if you don't check all the inbox and e- emails in your inbox, if you don't get that project done, there's always tomorrow. And you know what I just read? It was called Don't Sweat the Small Things. And they said, it's interesting, but when we pass away, somebody else will go through your inbox and they will finish responding to your emails. It really, like, and the whole point of having emails is that it is never empty. It's always gonna be there. Like, as soon as you clear it out, there's gonna be another email. There's always these things, right? And this is why you have to choose intentionally to put your health top line, put your love and and connection with the people you wanna be with top. Everything else comes under because, again, My kids and I, we we were really upset last night and they said, mom, those kids are going to wake up tomorrow and they are not going to see her mom. They're not going to have her there to talk to. And they're my kids age. And that really hit them. They're like, oh my God, like imagine my son was afraid to go to bed last night. He was like, mom, will you be here in the morning? Yes, I will be here in the morning. And this is why I wake my butt up every day and I work out and I eat well because I I can't control if I get COVID. But you know what I can do? I can give it a sure as hell fighting 
I'm going to fight. You know, I'm going to do what I can. You can do what you can. Wake up every day. Today's the day, not tomorrow, not Monday, not a month, not January 1st. You've only got today. And I guarantee you when this person had gotten surgery two weeks ago, when they posted about it, they had no clue 14 days later they'd be dead. No clue, right? You would live your life so differently if you knew that. So please hear this message from my heart. And I've been preaching this message since 2012. Go back to the podcast. Go back to episode one. Go back to all my stuff. What have I always been telling you? Do something every day. Don't put it off. Don't think you have till tomorrow. Don't, um, you know, don't live your life on borrowed time. Do this now. Take action now. This is the moment. No other moment. This is the moment. I care about you guys. I want you to be healthy. I want you to live long, prosperous lives. And I know that starts with your health being at the foundation. And if you're eating well and you're moving your body and you're taking really good care of yourself, you are increasing your likelihood of survival. I want you to survive. I want you to thrive. I want you to enjoy your life. Have a good day. Take super good care of yourself. Hug somebody today. Call somebody today. Hang up the work early. Go out, have some fun with your family. And I'll talk to you soon.